And how do you see these semi-finals going this weekend? We'll start with one at two o'clock, Dave and St Martins. Yeah, it'll be very interesting, to, to be quite honest, at the start of the year I actually tipped the Martins uh, to go all the way to the final, not to win it, but I did expect them to go, I do expect them still to go to the final, but overall, they started off very well. It started the year. They look very promising, you know, young Rory O'Connor and all these other young lads coming through, so they have a lot of potential in the team. And for some reason, the last couple of games, they've just barely got over them. The rapper, he's given a good beating in, in Wexford Park, but I don't think they're really up for that game, to be quite honest. They were after, they're home and dry to be in the, in the position of qualifying for the quarterfinals, so it's the, go, uh, the Buffers Alley match, sorry that they nearly almost got caught on the day and to be quite honest I thought Puffer's Alley deserved the draw and maybe there's questions about the refereeing decision as well on the day as well so there's a lot of things that sort of can go against you or for you in a game but I thought that game sort of really uh, sort of sent a message out to, to Martins that you can't take other teams that are, you think they're below you for granted when you're playing them in the championship. And then on the other side of it you were surprised that, that all Gaekel and Brian weren't really um Close to Navin in the quarter final. Yeah, very strange to be quite honest. I seen them playing again Barrington in the park now, and I just thought they were a team within full of enthusiasm and very determined and uh, good work rate in the team and all that. And uh, when I went up to see the Oil Gate and, and, and Gory game, I couldn't understand. You know, Oil Gate seemed to be leaving everything in the field and never brought it to Extra Park. So, you know, it, it, it happens. You know, teams peak in earlier in the year, and then there's other teams then sort of judge themselves rightly and. At the present moment, Gorey seemed to be coming on, coming on leaps and bounds, and they played Wexford in, in parallel or in Patrick's Park, sorry. And uh, to be quite honest, I fancied Wexford, the Harriers going into that game, but Harriers never showed up, and Gorey more or less shoved it up up their jersey as well and said, "Look, no way, this is game is for us." And they took that game by the scruff and neck, and then they done the very same again all gate. So they're good, they're a good team. They're hungry, they're young, and they're and they're big and strong and physical. So so next Sunday's game now it'll be it'll be a humdinger, I, I honestly believe. You know? Some really talented players on both sides. When you take a Conor McDonald for Navena, and then the likes of Rory O'Connor then for St Martins, there's great talent on the show. Absolutely, yeah. And to be quite honest, uh, I was a little bit worried about uh, Conor Mac. To be quite honest, because earlier on in the year he didn't seem to be hitting form. Even when he wore the extra jersey, he sort of well, for some reason he just went off the boil a small bit. And that happens in life with everything. You know, in sport you go back a bit and you need a good kick in the backside to pick you back up. And he has really come back into form now. So even the last day, the goals he scored the last day was tremendous. And he's a great team leader in around the edge of the square. And then when you look at young Rory O'Connor, I'd say he scored maybe in under 21, he scored definitely one of the goals of the seasons. And also last uh, two weekends ago, he actually scored a screamer as well for the Martin. So he's in quite good form as well. He's a young up and coming talent. So, you know, these two lads will be the male lads to watch on, on Sunday. But then again, you get guys that just pop up out of nowhere and give a, give a, maybe a 10 or 12 or a 10 or a 9 or 10, 9 or 10 performance on the day. So Corey will look to Connor back. And definitely the Martins will look to Rory O'Connor just to pull him over the line. So whoever I think, whichever them players really play out their skin could make the difference on the day. And that's the reason why I feel that the Martins have a little bit more and Rory O'Connor could end up getting maybe four or five points. That could be the difference on the day for the Martins to go on to win it. Larry, the Raps were bordering on rele relegation a few weeks ago, but now they find themselves uh, facing out of the ballot in the county semi-final. It's quite the rise, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a bit strange, to, uh, to be honest. Uh, we actually played Gorey, and the Rapperies actually played the Martins in Wexford Park, where we were sort of rubbing our hands, thinking that the Martins will definitely uh, get over uh, the Rapperies that day. Mm. And I was saying, well, look, if we could actually get over Gorey, that we could be in the in a quarter-final position. And it happened to be that the Harriers and Ferns got beaten, and Gorey and Raps, which two teams that I thought might have been in relegation, got through to the, to the quarter final. So, and once you get through there, and you might feel as if the, the bonding and a bit of team spirit and the team morale within the Starlights and the Rapperies have really come to fruition now at the present moment. And they had a great win last weekend, and now they're facing one of maybe the favourites of the, of the whole championship once again, which is Owlert Ballock, you know, because as we're all aware, Owlert, it's so... They've been one of the pinnacles of Wexford Hurling for the last seven or eight or ten years and they've really showed and dominated Hurling at, at its best. But, uh, you know, the rapperies are sort of a, like, a, 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 who was I talking to someone the other day, they were saying it was 2001 since the rapperie was in the last quarter final when, when the Harriers beat them in the final that year. So that's the last time they've been in the semi-final, sorry. So, 
you know, the Rapparees will feel as if they have a lot to offer now because they got out of Elegration Battle and now all of a sudden they got over the Martins and then they had a great win the last day as well. So they're in, they're in a good position going into this. But I think overall now the Owlert have the experience. Gareth Sinnott is in great form again. You know, and then you have uh, Owen Moore who's in, in great form. So Owlert themselves, I see him the last day now. And the team, they're hurling more of a team now than they were earlier on in the year. So they are getting stronger. Uh, maybe this type of weather is suiting them as well. You know, Nicky Kerwin's in great form. So, you know, they'll take beaten, there's no question about it, but the Rapparees won't fear him, you know, Owlert will always have a little bogey team, and they'd always say the Rapparees were always their bogey team so the Rapparees will fancy themselves, but then again, the key men, Kevin Foley and all these lads, young uh, Pear and all these lads, whoever, um, Liam Ryan and all these lads, these will have to hurl at 100% if the Rapparees need to get over this, so it'll be tough, but it'll go down to the wire but I think Owlert have too many goal scorers on the team, and I think that's what will get them through the end